Number 53. Homes may be heated by pumping hot water through radiators. What mass of water will provide the same amount of heat when cooled from 95.0 to 35 degrees Celsius as the heat provided when 100 grams of steam is cooled from 110 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius? Okay, so we got two different uh, co compounds here. We have water versus steam, right? So if I just do some little tabulations and just put everything nice and neat on the left-hand side, right? Water is basically H2O and that's a liquid form, right? And we're basically comparing the water in a liquid to steam. Well, what's steam? It's basically like the gaseous water that comes out when you boil water and there's steam that's coming out. Steam is, is basically the same compound, but just in the gas form. So that's the difference here. H2O liquid is water. H2O gas can't be called water anymore. It's called steam. Okay. So now let's just see the information that we got. Well, they told us that we had 100 grams of steam. So, and maybe, maybe I will just do this just to kind of, there we go. So they told us we had 100 grams of steam, so we know the mass of the steam, 100 grams. And they told us that the steam was being cooled from 110 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. They're asking about how much heat is being provided, right? So I know that I'm talking about, you know, a Q value, right? And they gave, and we know specific heats. So I can basically find out a delta T from this, right? Delta T is always final minus initial. So in this case, the 100 degrees Celsius is the final and the 110 is the initial. It's cooling from 110 to 100. So it would be 100 minus 110. So my delta T for the steam is a negative 10 degrees Celsius, right? 100 minus 110. I just wanna put it into my calc so I have the number to plug in when I'm ready. Okay. Now let's see, what else did they say? Okay, well, we know the delta T for the water now, right? They said, what mass of the water will provide the same amount of heat when cooled from 95 to 35? So we have a delta T here. They gave me two temps. And in this case, it's going to be 35 minus 95, right? Now you can put 35.0 minus 95.0. I just don't have the room here, but... That's just for sig fig purposes at the end. So I'll take that into consideration at the end. So 35 minus 95 equals negative 60. So technically this should be negative 60.0 degrees Celsius. And then the other one would be, uh, actually no, this one would just be negative 10. Okay. So we have the delta T for that, but do we know the mass of the water? No, this is what we're solving for, right? This is what the question is asking for. So it seems like we know more information about the steam than the water, but they did say that what's the mass of the water will provide the same amount of heat. So do we know at the moment what the heat produced of the steam is? No. So maybe I'll just, hold on, I'm just gonna put this down here and I'm gonna say Q equals question mark. And for the same exact thing over here, Q equals question mark. I just want to put it in a different color so that it stands out. But the key is that these are the same. So I can find the Q of this. It would be the same Q for this, and then I can find the mass. So let's go for it. We know the formula. It's this one, right? Q equals MS delta T. Let's do this for the steam. Let's find out that Q. Well, we know the mass, right? 100 grams. We know the delta S. We did that already, negative 10. What's the S of the steam? Well, that's coming from uh, constant numbers, right? Now, in this case, we can't take the 4.184 because it's not liquid. The specific heat of steam, the gas one is 1.864. 
So there we go. Q equals the mass, which was 100 grams, 1.864, and then I'm going to times it by a negative 10. Okay, so 100 times 1.864 times a negative 10, I get negative 1,864, and remember the Q is in joules. Okay, so now I know what this number equals. The Q is negative, that just means heat was lost, and it makes sense because temperature is cooling, negative 18, uh, 1864, right, joules? So that's the same number for here, negative 1864. So now I can do the same formula and solve for M. So once again, Q equals MS delta T, and now this is for the water. We know the Q, negative 1864. We're solving for the mass. That's what they wanted. Now the specific heat is the specific heat for water, 4.184. And the delta T for the water was a negative 60.0. So negative 1864 equals X times 4.184 times negative 60. So I would multiply those two numbers together. Let's get one value. 4.184 times negative 60. Negative 1864 equals a negative 251.04 times x, and then just divide. I'm getting pretty close to the bottom here, so bear with me, guys. Eee. 251.04, and then I'll just put the answer over here. x equals negative 1864 divided by the answer. And let me see. Let's see how many sig figs. In this case, looks like we'll go with three sig figs, I guess. So 7.43. And that's in grams of the water, the liquid. There you go. And maybe I'll put the answer a little bit more up here because I know the subscribe button is down there, so I don't want to kind of block it. But maybe I'll put it over here. It doesn't look good there. So maybe I'll just, I'll try to just squeeze it in. And there you go. Okay. So that's it, guys. And you know what? Maybe I'll just, I'll just bring this over a little bit. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So thank you so much for viewing the video. So basically what this means is 7.45 grams of water must, you know, be used to be cooled from 95 to 35 and it's the same amount of heat when you had 100 grams of steam. So much less water than steam. That's basically the thing that, you know, they wanted you to see. So thank you so much. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And as always, I really hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard. You guys got this. And I'll see you in future lessons, all right? Take care. Bye-bye.